From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of Evenings in LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus checkup date of 2022. With the breaking news that that third stimulus check has landed, we'll go over the latest details tonight. With that third MSC check landing in countless viewers' hands, I'll show you how to get it. Then we'll be going over to Belgium as the President of the United States wraps day two of that big economic conference. And guess what? He name-checked both of the provisions of the sixth stimulus package I say he would. Wheat and oil. We'll go over the latest details on that tonight across the land. But back in the United States, Janet Yellen talked about the third and fourth part of sixth stimulus. Huge. We'll be looking at the Build Back Better Act in tonight's recording, because guess what? It's needed in view of the energy shortage. We'll go over all the big details today that you need to know and why the housing market may be the safest new reason to get the Build Back Better Act passed. Then we'll be looking at CR with a new round from the White House, because guess what? The variant to Omicron is spreading dramatically and consensus is a recession if the sixth stimulus is not done soon enough. All the latest details on that as well. New comments by the Education Secretary under Obama. He believes that that student loan debt forgiveness of the seventh stimulus will happen. I'll have the latest details on seven stimulus in tonight's recording. And then that SS300 and j Powell to raise your benefits by tying it to inflation. Excuse me, Joe Biden, before that recession kicks in. I have the latest details on that tonight as well. Then, a new major deal on oil announced by the White House overseas. Is it Venezuela? Is it Iran or is it something else? Or is it good old American oil? Oh boy, you're going to be excited. $80,000 of checks from, eight, from four stimulus landing, monthly stimulus checks from MSC from third stimulus landing, and get ready for six stimulus in April. Get ready for seven stimulus in, Ju in July, in May. And then get ready for me because it's a big night of evenings in LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California. I haven't been as excited as well in a long time. And stay to the very end because in tonight's show, we have a surprise for members in the final minutes of this video. It's a big night for America's most watched show for financial news in prime time. It's Evenings Allied with all those incredible checks. The details start right now as our prayers and wishes with Ukraine stay with us across tonight's video. We're going to go over all those incredible checks and everything you need to know as Evenings Allied gets underway right now. And good evening, everybody. It's a big night across the board as the President of the United States wraps up J2 in Brussels. Wow. And in that second day, he name-checked two provisions of the stimulus package, wheat and oil, as the President's own Treasury Secretary back in the United States talked about the third one. All the latest details on that stimulus package, which heats up in April later in this recording. Also heating up the second half of this reporting is incredible details of that student loan debt forgiveness going to a vote going to a determination on about May 2nd. New comments from Obama's education secretary, and then those details and more. But we're going to start with the Build Back Better Act, which got a new push today. Why? Because the situation unfolding dramatically is the housing market may have major problems going forward, and this is a recession. We'll go over all the big details of that starting right now, and boy, it's huge. The Build Back Better Act is, has three clusters of checks and three add-ons. But tonight, there's new details of why the Build Back Better Act can, has new support. That new support comes from new economic data released about the housing market likely crashing. As it went, it fell 4.1% in the month of February compared to January in the median the median 10-year uh, treasury note and the mortgage rates surged dramatically to 5%. Let's go over that big Build Back Better Act 
three clusters of checks and three add-ons across the board. About $15,000 you're going to get from the Build Back Better Act in checks. Let's look at the first check in there across the board. That first check is of the hazard pay. And that other checks in there, lots of them across the board. In that first cluster, we have in there hazard pay for my essential workers. Then we have the CTC for the children, $3,600. The Pell Grant, $550 checks for the college students. Then we got the home repairs for the low-income families. And then we got in there the incredible nutrition, the $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, and the $4,000 of elder care. Did you hear in that first cluster money to repair your home? That is why the Build Back Better Act is getting the new push today from that new housing data. With a new report that says that the 10, that the 30-year fixed mortgage jumped dramatically 24 basis points in just recent days to 5%. People cannot afford a 5% mortgage because guess what? It's not sustainable. That's why Build Back Better Act gets that push with the new economic data today. $25,000 of money, again, for the purchase of a first home goes in there from Maxine Waters. It's the first of three clusters of add-ons. Now, you see why you need $25,000, because you can't afford a 5% mortgage rate. It's 25 basis point than it was before. In that second cluster of three, in that Build Back Better Act, we have more money about the homeowners. Home repairs to weatherize your home. That is why the house Housing data that came out today, the worst we've seen in a long time. Four straight months of pending sale declines and growing mortgage rates suggest that is a new support for the Build Back Better Act. Now, in that second cluster, checks more checks across the board, paid leave. This is if you have to stay home from work due to sickness or illness, huge sums of money. $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. If you make $35,000, then you get $800 a week. If you make $14,000, then $400 a week. W2-1099, you all get these incredible sums of money in the Build Back Better paid leave provision. Then... How many weeks? Four to six weeks per year? Yeah, it's a lot of money. As we turn to the second add-on of checks to the Build Back Better Act, it gets even better. In that second cluster of add-on of checks, we have $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Got in there from Bob Casey. Huge. Then, as we turn to that third cluster of checks, deliciousness. <laughs> in that third cluster of checks, we have money for seniors and free internet for all. Lots of checks in this third cluster, seniors especially, dental, vision, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, and also the Medicaid gap fix, providing a workaround plan that will provide insurance to uninsured people in those Republican holdout states. And then, of course, the lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to 55, which is par for the course when adding checks on the Senate side. The other third add-on of checks to this Build Back Better Act is, of course, MSC, monthly IRS stimulus checks. These are checks sent out from IRS on a monthly basis and differentiate themselves from the MSC checks coming up later in this video. Who would get these? Single individual, 75000 less, you get it. Married couple, 150000 less, double it, you get it as well. Family four, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, you get as well. It is not income, it's not taxable. Goes out on a monthly basis and would also go to adult dependents. It's nationwide, it is not state stimulus. And there you go, that is the Build Back Better Act, not law currently in the Senate with those IRS MSC add-on checks. Now, let's take a step back and breathe for a second because that's the Build Back Better Act for stimulus recon. But four weeks ago, the President of the United States said, you know what, I'm going to do my own fourth stimulus add-on, and he did. Four weeks ago tonight, the President of the United States announced his law, Build Back Add-on, Fifteen to $80,000 checks. What's going on? Well, Build Back Better Act in the Senate, it's not law yet, but the president can do his own laws, and he did one four Fridays ago. A fifteen dollars to $80,000 check to viewers of the channel, members. And boy, is it incredible. How do you get it? It's coming up in just a second. It is a fourth stimulus add-on. It is law, and it pays fifteen dollars to $80,000. Also coming up later in this video is those third stimulus MSC checks. Yes, third stimulus, which became a law last year, already paid you a $1,400 stimulus check, now is getting MSC checks going out as well. And members have got it as well. 
How do you get these big checks? They're coming up in just a second. We're going to go over those third stimulus MSC checks and those fourth stimulus checks, which have landed at fifteen dollars to $80,000. But first, let's take a step back to that CR for stimulus. What happened? The President of the United States did not get his money for COVID in that continuing resolution, which became a law about four weeks ago as well. So the President of the United States, when he returns from Brussels, guess what he's going to do? He's going to do another CR because there's there's a problem, and that problem is that the United States is now getting a surge of that subvariant for Omicron as it's hit internationally, especially in China, setting on a lockdown. The president got no money for COVID, and so he's going to come back with another CR. The CR that did pass three weeks ago got in their county stimulus. So reach out to your local county to learn about that big county stimulus in the CR. Meantime, also heating up is that big SS-300. Huge. The President of the United States has to make that phone call to swap out color for inflation. Let's go over the details right now. Joe Biden, when running for President of the United States and then as President himself, put at JoeBiden.com his swapping of cola to inflation. Inflation is at its price, price point of a generation, 8%. If Joe Biden makes a swap today, you get $200 more per month. It's huge. And then if it stays at 4% in December, that's another $100. Huge SS300. But what's the latest on it from j -Pow? Oh, boy, it's coming up late in this video. But first, let's go over what happened internationally today and back in the United States about six stimulus. The President of the United States was overseas in Brussels. And I had told you when he's overseas in Brussels, he'd likely talk about the six stimulus package. He did. It's as though he watched this channel. Six stimulus is boots Putin calls stimulus. And if you knew this channel, let me take a step back so you understand what's going on. Stimulus packages happen at the same time. They don't go one, stop, start another one, stop, start another one. That's not how they happen. They overlap. Currently paying out third and fourth. Next paying out six, potentially in April. Then seventh for student loan debt forgiveness in May. And that is why they overlap. So what did he do when he was overseas in Brussels? He talked about six stimulus, wheat, and oil. And guess what happened today? He spoke about both of them. And back in the United States, Jan Yellen talked about the next prong, the China equation. I have all the breaking news in today's recording. Then, I also have breaking news about the seven stimulus package. As Obama's education secretary spoke about it today. It's huge. But let's go right into those MSC checks. Let's go right into those four stimulus checks starting right now without any delay. The incredible great news is that third stimulus MSC check and fourth stimulus checks have now landed. Viewers have it. And the great news is you can get it as well. First, understand that in the next few minutes, I'm going to go over third stimulus MSC checks. They're different than fourth stimulus MSC checks. I'll differentiate them for you. And you can get it if you're a renter or a homeowner. I'm also going to go over those fourth stimulus checks, which are for homeowners. So between renters and homeowners, I got you covered in this recording. Let's first start with these fourth stimulus checks. First, how much are they? They're a fortune. They're fifteen to 80000 Have they been sent out? They have been sent out. Have they been paid? They have been paid. And viewers of this channel have gotten it. Let's go over the range of the money. First, fifteen dollars to $80,000. Then, who can qualify for it? Same eligibility as a third stimulus check. So, single individual, $75,000 less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you can get it as well. You don't double it or triple it like a second stimulus check. It is fifteen dollars to $80,000 per household. Incredible sums of money. What if you're on benefits? Yes, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits as well, you can get these incredible sums of money. This is the homeowner's grant. How do you get it? You become a member. The link is at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. In becoming a member, you get the complete name of the grant and all the incredible details, but here's a preview of what the members already know in that membership newsletter. This grant was announced by the President of the United States four Fridays ago tonight. So it's been law for now four Fridays. It's administered by the states and is available in every single state with the exception of New York, which after four weeks is now at waiting list mode. What's important to understand is that you can get this money. How do you get the money? You become a member. The link's at the top of the chat and in the pinned comment. The membership newsletter comes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. And right away, you'll see in there the full name of the grant. It's longer than the homeowner's grant, number one. Then you'll see the income qualification we just went over. Next, you'll see what it pays for. It pays for things like 
home repairs, wow, and other things. What are they? They're in the membership newsletter. Then it features everything else you need to know about this grant for homeowners, fifteen dollars to $80,000 WAPO checks, big whammo, massive, gargantuan checks. And then it also gives you the link to pounce as a purple hawk because you want to smash this one. And viewers have. Viewers have gotten it. Members have gotten it. Like Mark, who got $66,000 from this right out the door. And countless other viewers have gotten their applications in and have gotten the statement approved. It's absolutely astronomical. Once you submit your application, then you're going to be told if it's approved. And if you are, you get paid fifteen dollars to $80,000. So how do you get it? First, you're going to go to the top of the chat or under the video to hit that membership link. Get a, Become a member and get that newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. Go right down and hit the link to go right into the application. First, send you to the national website, which then sends you to the state website. Apply. Do not wait. Apply. Because it's first come, first serve every day that goes by. Every day that you don't become a member, thousands of people get in front of you in a state and they get their application on file. The New York example is exactly what I've been telling you since day one. It's not an endless money trade. It'll run out in certain states and you don't want your state to run out. At the moment of this recording for March 25th, 2022, only the state of New York. Every other state is still accepting applications. So get it on file. Now, if you are not a homeowner and you're a renter, well, guess what? I got some MSC checks for you. And I got breaking news on this one. And I got a lot of other surprises for you in the final minutes of this video. Stay with me to the final minutes of this video, especially if you remember you're going to be excited about this special announcement. So if you're a renter, get ready because I got MSC checks for you. Okay, let's take a step back on this one. Third stimulus became a law in 2021 and already paid you a $1,400 check. What is this one? This is an addition to it. Yes, it's a monthly stimulus check. It's an addition to the four stimulus check. Four stimulus checks are that build back better check to send off from IRS. This is not sent off from IRS. This is not automatic. This requires a pen, paper, and a phone call. Or a couple of phone calls, actually. And you're going to pounce. What is it for? It's for rent, utilities, mortgages, and more. And the average view of this channel has gotten more than the Build Back Better's four stimulus checks MSC IRS would pay. Those are six months of $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter. No, this is not a $1,000 check. No, this is not six months. <laughs> the average view of this channel is getting, and you're ready for this, $2,000 for 12 months. Oh, my goodness. And I got new success stories tonight. First, let's go over some success stories because it's incredible. Last night when this show aired in the live chat, in three minutes, three viewers revealed collectively, are you ready for this? $100,000 gotten by those three viewers. It's incredible. In three minutes, three different viewers collectively had revealed $100,000 of success stories from being a viewer of this channel. First came in Daniel, Daniel last night on Eden's LA in a prime time. He wrote in the live chat while the show was airing, Hey, LA, I just got in help with electric and water and gas tolling. About $60,000. Thank you, LA. Thank you for your help and time. That was March 25th's live chat. In the live chat while the show was airing on March 25th, Daniel wrote that. Then he went on to say, I want viewers to know that I'm on SSI. Incredible. So a viewer who's on benefits got $60,000 in checks. While that Comment from Daniel was appearing on the screen. Then came Corey, also in the live chat. Corey wrote, hey, LA, I got $14,000 in rental assistance. 14 months at $1,000 a pop. Incredible. So there was Corey at the same time as Daniel. Then at the same time, I was getting a private message on Facebook from Jay. Hey, I'm, uh, uh, excuse me, from William. Hey, it's William. I'm a member. Uh, no, it's, it's William J. <laughs> That's how I messed it up. I, sorry, William. William J. Last name is J. First name is William. I want to thank you for all your help you do. I just received $9,000, which is eight months of rent, and it's absolutely incredible. Thank you for all your incredible help. There you go. In in just three minutes, three viewers, 10000 14000 and 60000 Jay got some additional sums of money as well. Astronomical. So how do you get these incredible sums of money? Get your pen and paper ready. Again, this is third stimulus. To differentiate for stimulus, will become a law, build back better, but this is an addition to it. This is law now. It's not something you have to wait. Joey sent out the checks. It became law last year. Where did this come from? Let's show you how.
In December 2020, the thick of the pandemic, countless viewers of the channel needed money. There was no money. There was no second stimulus package. Never got a finalization between, between Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi. So I told viewers, guess what? I'm going to find you some money. I did. I found them rent and utilities. And then in the middle of December, I had a preview, an exclusive a document. It was one of the most important documents I ever got exclusively on this channel. A preview of a next stimulus package, which I call the expression, third stimulus package. I said, when this becomes law, there's going to be a lot of money for you. So I want to train you now under second stimulus how to get this big money for rent and utilities before third stimulus becomes a law. And when it did, I said, the average view of this channel can probably get about 15000 what did the average view of this channel get when third stimulus became law? They did not get 15000 They averaged about $45,000. These were some of the success stories at the time. Viewers after viewer got massive checks amounting to $100,000, $50,000. It came in day in, day out. What happened? Well, I told viewers to get rounds, three to four months. So they got a round in the spring, in that early 2021. They got a summer round. They got a winter round. They got a scripts round. But suddenly viewers said, you know what? I'm tired of rounds. I just want to do a whole run of the, of the gamut. Let's do a whole year of it. And what happened? Yes, you're hearing me right. The members of this channel, the viewers, created their own MSC. They said, why do I have to do three to four months? Let's just do a whole year. And that's what happened. And it started in late May March this month. Viewers like Lindsay Ramirez, she got 12 months of rent. And what did she do? $1,000. Uh, she got 12 months of rent to utilities at $1,500 a pop per month. Yes, it's absolutely incredible. We had David Allen on the 21st getting nine months of $1,500. We had Mr. Bean getting $16,000. Anna Bell getting uh, countless sums of money. Uh, Mortisi getting sums of money. Then we had viewers just er uh, just days earlier, like Johnny on the 15th of March, getting $26,000, which was eight months. We had Brian Graves out of Toledo on March 14th getting eight months. It was huge. It was just huge. So how do you get these sums of money? How do you get these MSC checks which just landed? Let's go over all the details. You're going to reach out to six places. Your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, and your county housing authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Three things you must do. You must do multiple, you must reach out to all six places. Number one. And if you're a member, you're going to get in that membership newsletter, the nonprofit. So you're going to reach out to more than just six. You're going to reach out to potentially 15 to 20. Next, you want to do multiple applications. And number three, you want to rely on the nonprofits because the nonprofits often pick up for items like nominal home repairs. It's huge. You want to get these big sums of money. And yes, when we look at these MSC checks, let's recap everything you need to know. First, third stimulus, yes, law. Next, going out, yes, viewers have already gotten it. Every day I get half a dozen or so success stories. You saw the success stories in that video. Joe sent out the checks, yes. In addition to your $1,400 stimulus check, yes. Automatic, no. You got to pick up the phone and call. And once you get approved, then it's automatic. As viewers are now set up for 12 months of checks, after the first month is paid, after you make the legwork, after you make the phone calls, then you're set up for these monthly stimulus checks. Huge. It's absolutely incredible. Does not negate the opportunity to get four stimulus checks in the future or anything else. This is just for now. And congratulations to the credible viewers of this channel. Meantime, what about that four stimulus check? Yes, you want to pounce. So become a member. And in the second half of this video, oh boy, I have a big surprise for my member. Stay to the final minutes of this video. Big surprise. Surprise. I came up with it today, and I think you're going to be very excited. It's coming up the second half of this video. Also coming up the second half of this video, all this other stuff. Look at all the breaking news today. Second half of this video, we'll be going over the seven stimulus package, the student loan debt forgiveness. Then we'll be going to the breaking news about that six stimulus package, a lot of versions of it. Congressional leaders introducing their MSC check provisions to Congress. Then we have Joe Biden talking really about the meat and potato, the six stimulus. And guess what? He talked about every single thing which I've been recording for no less than day one of the Russian invasion of Ukraine for six stimulus. And Janet Yellen as well. Every single thing that I've been reporting for you about six stimulus confirmed by the White House today. It's huge, great news. Then we'll go back to what Jay Powell said this week. 
Oh boy, this is SS300, shocking details. I'm putting the SS300 late in this video today because there's a lot to go over with that. And then we'll have a preview of what's happening next week oh, and this weekend, a huge weekend across the board. It's a big second half. For America's most watched show in prime time, it's Evenings LA. If you haven't become a member, go to the top of the chat to get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday about those $80,000 for stimulus checks and about those monthly stimulus checks that are averaging about $2,000 a month for 12 months. More about those incredible details coming up in the second half. We got a big second half with a deal on oil. Another deal, yeah. But first, there's a little bit about the membership community page. See you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And it's a big second half of Evening's LA it's starting right now. Wow. First, we're going to go over the breaking details of that Build Back Better Act. The Build Back Better Act tonight has new push for it, and I'll tell you why. It is the housing market. The housing market is likely to see a major downturn. I've been predicting this for a while. What's the latest details tonight? Despite what's happening with Vladimir Putin or internationally in Ukraine, tonight there's very bad data for the housing market. And the housing market is likely to head into stagflation. This is why the Build Back Better Act will pass. And it will pass because there is so many housing provisions in there, as you saw the home repairs, the weatherize your home, the purchase of the first home, $25,000. The 30-year fixed mortgage spiked 73 basis points in one year. Uh, says a new comment by Edward Simer, NBA's Associate Vice President of Housing Economics tonight. This is very bad data. What's happening? Well, the, the, the housing market showed a drop of sales for the fourth consecutive month, and now we see the ten year we see the ten year treasury note surging, and of course mortgage numbers going through the roof. So as a sell, as a seller, you may not be able to sell your home very quickly because the thirty year fixed thirty year fixed mortgage rate shot higher tonight, raising twenty four basis points to five percent. No one can afford a five percent mortgage, and this is why Build Back Better Act will be needed because incredible provisions like that Maxine Waters twenty five thousand dollars to purchase the first home will really help you across the finish line. Next. CR, I really do think the CR may get a new lift. The second attempt from Joe Biden to do another CR is getting really su good support because guess what? He got it right. The situation with that sub variant of Omicron is getting very serious. It's sending China on a lockdown. It will potentially be the next dominant strain in the United States. And so with that, Joe Biden is going to come back to the United States from, from overseas and is going to introduce that new spending bill for more money for 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 vaccines and for masks and things like that and i think he's going to get it potentially get a stimulus check in there yes absolutely then let's turn to the details with jay powell tonight jay powell your head of the federal reserve he's trying to reduce inflation but how does that impact your ss300 and what joe biden is trying to do across the board let's go over all the details starting right now ss300 was a campaign promise from joe biden and a presidential platform swapping cola for inflation you want to swap it when inflation's high. It's still high. It's at the highest price point 
of a generation, tracking at about 8% right now since the month of December. It may even be higher if the 10-year Treasury note is correct. 10-year Treasury note keeps on surging higher. So what's going on with Jay Powell? We end the week with Jay Powell leaving us confused, but I don't feel confused. I think I just don't believe him anymore. Jay Powell got it very wrong last year when he said inflation was going to be 1% to 2% in December and go back down. It was going to be a temporary spike. I said, no. I said, it's going to be 8% and it ain't going to be temporary. So he got it wrong. Then he said he was going to do a soft landing for the first and several meetings of the FOMC this year. And that he was going to get inflation down to 4% by the end of the year. I was fine until he pivoted again. He came into the FOMC meeting for March and said, we're going to do six interest rate spikes, not five. Okay. I'm still fine with that. And they say he's going to reduce inflation to 1% to 2% by the end of the year. Uh, no. <laughs> so this is, where I, this is where he loses me. I don't think he can do it. I don't think he's going to be able to get inflation down to 2% by the end of the year. I don't want him to because 4% is an additional $100 for your SS300. 1% is nothing. It's like $50. So that's nothing to sing homo about. So I don't think he can do it. Then what did Jay Powell do during the middle of the week? He, keeved into, he heaved into pressure. That pressure came from his Fed governors like Wallace and Bullard who said, why did you do quarter basis point at the March FOMC, Jay? We should have done a half and I asked for a half going forward. Wall Street don't like it. I don't like it. I think it's going to cause stagflation. And guess what? As Jay Powell said it, then the reaction from it was very negative and mine was as well. Why was it negative? I don't think you can do it. <laughs> it's negative. It's positive for your money. It's positive for SS300, but it's negative for Jay Powell. I don't think you can do it. I think he's talking inflation down. I don't think he can physically walk inflation down. Why? I don't think his tools work anymore. Inflation is caused by supply chain. Not our supply chain, China and Russia. And that supply chain is crippling inflation, dragging it higher month after month. And I don't think Jay Powell has the tools to bring that down because he has nothing in the Fed that can fix inflation. So translation, I think your SS300 is fine. If Joe Biden makes a swap from COLA to inflation in early April, mid-April, and potentially late April, going into May, then we get a little problematic because I don't know what Jay Powell is going to do by then. And there could be other parts of the equation across the board. What did Jay Powell say this week and why his comments are uh, not something I'm going to worry about? Jay Powell basically said, I may do a half basis point. At the National Association for Business Economics, he said that um, in particular, we'll conclude that the appropriate move may be more aggressive, more than 25 basis point at a medium meetings. We will do so if that's the case. And we'll determine that tightening beyond current net measures. It will continue to seem like it's a hope for or sidelining will come, but j Powell continues by saying that in the meantime, we will see policy will be looking to actual progress in these issues and not be assuming significant near supply chain relief. Translation, he's not sure what's going to happen with that supply chain. That's why he brings it up. And guess what? I'm not worried. So let's recap. If Joe makes that phone call right today, then you lock in an additional $200 a month because that's the way SS300 works. Once your benefits go up, they never go down. So if they go out today, $200, you lock in that not for just this month, not just for this year, but for a generation to come. So if there's any hashtag campaign you want to be on social media for, it's hashtag SS, it's hashtag Joe make the phone call. Joe make the call or hashtag Joe make the call. Joe make the call because you want to swap out that cola for inflation right now and not wait. Huge news. Now, let's take a step forward. Yes, seven stimulus got a major surprise today. What is that seven stimulus? It's student loan debt forgiveness. And it was first debuted on this channel, March 23rd, 2022. What happened? What happened on March 2023, 20, 20, 2022, earlier this week? Your education secretary, did it say something? No. In fact, it was Joe Biden, chief of staff, wrong client, said that Joe Biden will make a determination on whether to forgive student loan debt or to extend a deadline on March 2nd. What's going on? Let me go over the details. Joe Biden froze your repayment student loan debt during the pandemic, and they've been frozen ever since. They will become unfrozen on March 2nd. If nothing else happens, what does that mean? If nothing else happens, you have to start repaying your debts on March 2nd. So Ron Klain, the president's chief of staff just days ago, said by March 2nd, Joe Biden will either extend the freezing of student loan debts, meaning you don't have to pay them still further out, or he'll forgive some student loan debts. What's the breaking news tonight? A lot of it. The education secretary under the Obama administration 
said that he knows who's going to make the determination on student loan debt forgiveness. And he also has an opinion about it. Wow. Let's go over the details right now. First, he believes that the president, not Ron, not Miguel Cardona, the education secretary, and not Ron Klan, the chief of staff, is going to make the determination on student loan debt. That is number one. Number two, he thinks that, that Biden should do it. Wow. Number three, he thinks that Biden can do it. This is huge, folks. This is Obama's education secretary. When asked in a new interview obtained by LA News tonight, do you believe that President Biden has the ability to forgive student loan debt without Congress? Yes, absolutely. We put in place the Obama administration a process of debt cancellation. And the vast majority of lawyers who looked at this question think there's executive authority for broad forgiveness. Have you talked to Miguel Cardona about this decision? Will come down to Cardona, the president. Uh, it will come down to the president, says that individual. What is my takeaway of the situation? My takeaway of the situation is that Joe Biden has a very easy way to do this. And it was detailed last night. The easy way to do this is just forgive it because he does have legal support. And that if someone wants to challenge his interpretation of the law, go ahead and you're going to lose. Why? Because the way to challenge it is in Congress and neither party has enough votes to challenge it. Democrats are not going to challenge and Republicans don't have enough votes. So go ahead and do it, Joe. It's that simple. Huge details tonight with that seventh stimulus. Again, this is May 2nd. This is when we would learn if the president forgives student loan debts, wiping away $50,000, potentially student loan debts, or just continues this out a few more weeks across the board. Huge details tonight. But let's turn to that six stimulus. And boy, really exciting details because guess what? Six stimulus was first detail on this channel, day one of the Russian invasion of, of Ukraine. And then it got more heated a few days later. What is six stimulus? First stimulus was because of COVID. Second was to be for COVID, because of COVID. Third was coming out of COVID. Fourth is coming out of COVID. Fifth is for seniors. And, and seventh is for, as you just heard, student loan debt forgiveness. But six is because of Putin. What's at issue? Let's go over all the details tonight. Putin is now cause six stimulus, and I recorded this day one of the Russian invasion, but it came more clear by about the second week. Why? Because at the time, the president's chief of staff, Ron Klein, said, we need to do this. He reached out to Germany and France and said, get off of Russian products and do a six stimulus package with us. And they initially said, no, sir, we are not. We are too economically dependent upon those Russian products. Then they change their tone, saying, you're right, socially, morally, we have to get off of those Russian products. And the way we'll do it is the trifecta of Germany, France, and the United States will raise debt domestically, then provide stimulus to their citizens so that we can afford getting off those Russian products. Let me give you an example. You cannot afford $5 a gallon of the tank for gasoline. And I told you day one of the Russian invasion, if the gasoline prices remain the same price point, by May, we go into recession. You can't afford $7 a loaf of bread. And you can't afford your banks to close up and lose all your money. You can't afford the United States to sanction China. And you can't afford Vladimir Putin's economy to implode and send our banks into default. That is why six stimulus exists. Six stimulus is three parts. It is an international stimulus between the trifecta of the progressive leaders of the United States, Joe Biden, Francis Macron, and the Chancellor of Germany. Second, it's a national stimulus package from Joe Biden. Third, it's a state, it's a state sponsor package. We have a lot of state governors introducing their version of it. And then later in this video, I'll go over the governor's version. So what happens with six stimulus when and how do you need to know the details let's go over everything tonight and there's a lot of breaking news the president is in brussels for a two-day conference with og7 and i did not expect him to do what i what he did i say he's there to talk about military allegiances of the nato alliance before anything gets worse with Vladimir putin I said, don't expect to hear anything about the six stimulus pr prongs like wheat grain oil gas or getting off of Russian products. Guess what? I was wrong. And guess what? Every single thing I've been recording about for six stimulus on this channel, 
the president of the United States has said in 48 hours. It's huge. It's absolutely shocking. This is why you tune into this channel. Number one. Number one tonight, we have another oil deal. Yeah, there's a lot of oil deals happening for six stimulus. The first oil deal was that Iranian one, which I'll go back to in a second. But we have another oil deal tonight. The President of the United States in Brussels announced another oil deal. You're going to like this one because there's more jobs for you United States citizens. The oil deal is for getting LNG to our partner allies. The United States and Joe Biden announced in Brussels tonight a deal to give LNG, which is natural gas, to our European allies. Who's the deal with? First, the deals you deal with the United States and the European Commission, the entire European Commission, with France President, with the, with the EU Commissioner's President, Ursula von der Leyen. <laughs> Biden says, I know that eliminating Russian gas will have a high cost for Europe, but it's not only the right thing to do, it's also a moral standpoint. It's not going to put us some, it's now, it's going to put us in a much stronger strategic position. All this is bringing the European Committee, European Union, and the United States closer together, which is what we all want. What's going to happen? Here's the details tonight. It's a lot, and boy, it's exciting. Again, this is LNG, this is natural gas. I got the, the gas for the gas tank for you coming up in just a second. Huge details across the board. All right, let's go over this big deal for LNG. First, the United States will be providing, we will be providing LNG, USNLG, to our U.S. partner allies. Huge. And this will be led with a task force that actually even has a head. The Transatlantic Partnership stands for Stronger, More United Way, says the EU chairman. There will be a task force for energy security that will be chaired by a representative of the White House and a representative of the EU. Translation, we're going to be providing the LNG to our partner allies. We will produce it. We will ship it. We'll make the money on it. And they'll be dependent on our gas, our LNG. I think Putin's a little bit jealous, don't you think? And the EU is excited. How much are we providing? We're providing up to 50 cubic meters per year of U.S. LNG. You heard me right. Good, my Vladimir Putin. Your LNG is no longer going to be used. It's going to be U.S. made LNG at 50 mil billion cubic meters per year. And then it will continue through 2030. This is a long deal, folks. This is decades of big money to the U.S. economy. Huge deal by Joe Biden. Number two, Joe Biden going into Brussels announced a major deal for your gasoline. That deal for your gasoline is the following. The Iranian arms deal is coming to a conclusion. The U.S. is 15 years in the making for this deal. And what's going to happen? The U.S. will have half a, half a million barrels of gasoline available for us and our partner allies by April, May, growing to 1.3 million barrels a day. They'll drop gasoline to the lowest price point of a generation. This is 15 years in the making. I've been featuring on all the Indians LA broadcasts in recent days, and it's huge. It'll involve the prolifer the break, the, the dismantling of those nuclear elements in Iran in exchange for the lifting of the embargoes against Iran across the board. Absolutely huge. Now, yesterday, the President of the United States Overseas, when in Brussels, spoke about the second prong, prong of six stimulus, wheat. And he understood that our partner allies are very dependent on wheat. Well, how do you know that? Potentially watching the show, because I've been recording about wheat every evening to light since day one of the invasion. Why? Because Ukraine and that region of the Black Sea supplies all the wheat for our partner allies. And they're, in some cases, 80% dependent upon it. Now that wheat's not available, because the farmers are defending the Black Sea. They're not harvesting the crop. The crop of this season will lost. The crop of next season will lost because they can't prepare the soil. And the crop for several seasons could be lost because guess what? They're cluster bombing the whole region. They're not cluster bombing Vladimir Putin is. So what did the president announce? The president announced a major deal on wheat by providing wheat to each to uh, the Middle East and, and that region out of an existing body of legislation. Again, more money for our farmers. Great details across the board. What also happened today when we talk about all those incredible details of six demos? Well, if there couldn't be anything else, guess what? The next prong came in, and the next prong came in from Janet Yellen. Janet Yellen, your Treasury Secretary, appeared on broadcast media and was asked about the next prong of six stimulus, exactly as I've been recording. China. 
She asked, is China a part of the equation yet? No, she said, not yet. She said, we've been watching them. And she was asked, are we sanctioning China? She said, we're not sanctioning them yet. We're watching them. Remember, China has been approached by Vladimir Putin to give, them, give him money to undo the Russian sanctions levied by the Western Alliance. But China hasn't given it. And the U.S. spoke to China in Rome last week for seven hours, then in the White House uh, by Zoom with Xi and Biden this week. Boy, translation, for now, the White House is watching the situation to ensure that Xi gives not a penny to Putin, because if he does, he gets sanctioned. So Janet Yellen yet now confirming in 24 hours three of three prongs of uh, the six stimulus as recorded on this channel. What's the last part of the equation? That April 4th date. Vladimir Putin has an April 4th date. If he defaults, guess what? Banks in the United States could have major downturn because their exposure to Putin's debt. U.S. banks have Putin debt, and that debt could become valueless. U.S. banks also have Putin securities, and that securities could be valueless. So what does this mean for you? Six stimulus is lots of money. It is money to sustain $5, $6 a gallon for gasoline. It's to sustain $7 a loaf for bread. It's to sustain all these elements across the board. Now, let me explain to you what you need to know about six stimulus, because it may be confusing. First, you're going to see your governors talking about provisions. Like in California, they're talking about giving two checks per car you own from its governor. That would be state six stimulus. I'm not going to cover it on this channel because there's too many states. Number two, you hear Congress talking about six stimulus. Six, six stimulus? No, six stimulus. It's going to be hard to say, folks. Number six stimulus, uh, they're going to be talking about. And they have. This week, they talked about an MSC check. Ridiculousness. What did they say? They said, because the gasoline is so expensive, we need to do another stimulus package. And we're going to give you $100 stimulus checks. For gas, the gas tanks are 20 gallons, and the gasoline is $6 a gallon. So what are you going to do? Give us not even a full gallon of gasoline to survive for what, a week? That's ridiculous. It's times like this that congressmen look like, you know the word. <laughs> they just look ridiculous. Who did the math among them? Give them Larry Kudlow's calculator quickly. Then you're going to see the president do six months. He's going to do it right because they're not doing it all right. And then, of course, you can see the international version of it. Macron, Chancellor from Germany, and Biden as the allegiance. Huge details across the board. Meantime, big success for viewers of this channel. You've had a big week, and the success continues to roll in. The success is those third stimulus MSC checks. As viewers have relied upon that membership newsletter and have become a member, the link is at the top of the channel in the pinned comment, become a member, open the chat, open the membership newsletter, and they go in there and they say, Wow, I got to reach out to those six places. I'm going to do it. Then I'm going to reach out to those several nonprofits, at least five in the newsletter. That's about, you know, a dozen plus places I'm going to reach out to. And I'm going to pounce. I'm going to get that average of $2,000, 12 months of checks. Then the rest of the members have really succeeded well this week, getting those fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks from four stimulus. Open the membership newsletter, go right in there, clicking the link for that, new, for that grant, going right in, applying, getting their application complete, and getting funded right away. The membership newsletter is delivered to members via the YouTube alert system, not by waveable check or waveable uh, lobster or waveable, uh, you know, anything waveable. <laughs> Monday through Friday via the YouTube alert system. But I have an idea and a surprise for you. The surprise is that for this weekend only, this weekend only, I'll be delivering the membership newsletter one time this weekend as well. Because so many people have been signing up as members of this week, I presume that some people may sign up as members over the weekend. Or potentially late Friday night after the show airs, or after the 7 p.m. time in which the Friday membership newsletter goes out. Because there's usually not a membership newsletter Saturday or Sunday. This weekend, I have a surprise. I'm going to deliver one to you. One day, one membership newsletter will come out this weekend. So which day will that membership newsletter come out this weekend? Will it be Saturday or Sunday? And what time will it be? I will reveal the date of the weekend membership newsletter for just this weekend only, the day and the time during one of the broadcasts this weekend on LA. So tune in for one of those broadcasts to find out what day that extra, one-time only, weekend membership newsletter comes in. 
Otherwise, you can just read every LA alert. You can read every YouTube alert that comes in. Was that it? Oh, no, it's not. I'll just have to wait for the next one. <laughs> it's for one week and only. It's a great week, and it's been a great, wonderful achievement for all the incredible members. Congratulations to all of you. My takeaway, Congress made themselves look like ridiculous people this week, suggesting a $100 check pays for uh, recessionary pressures for gasoline. $100 ain't going to cut it, folks. It shows that they're really out of touch. Joe Biden showing really good achievements and also showing he potentially show watches his channel. <laughs> Just one week, Joe Biden went from doing nothing for six stimulus from doing, to now doing everything I've been recording about six stimulus. Solving the situation, at least for wheat, for the short term. Solving the situation for gas on the short term. Solving the situation for LNG in the short term. And setting it up so that everyone's buying it from Americans. Oh boy, Putin must be jealous tonight. Then, really focusing well, as Janet Yellen understands the significance, you don't want to sanction China if you don't have to, because sanctioning China could send us to a recession. And finally, Joe Biden really has the ball in his court for that soon loan debt forgiveness. My takeaway... I think he should really listen to these people, and I think he will. I think traditionally, if you look back at the history of this president, he has listened when there's a lot of advisors, and if there are that many people in his ear saying, forgive the student loan debt, let the Republicans challenge it, they're not going to have enough votes, I think he's going to do it. The question is how much. That's May 2nd. Huge night and a lot of details. Thank you for joining me. Coming up throughout the night is videos. We have a video on the hour by the hour. Evenings are late every night at 5 o'clock. Evenings countdown at 6 o'clock. 7 o'clock is evenings stream stimulus. 8 o'clock is evenings extra. And 9 o'clock is our new hit show, Evening Sunset. Then we continue with our overnight shows starting at 10 o'clock. And with that, our prayers and wishes are with the families of Ukrainians still fleeing into the neighboring Poland and other countries where the refugee crisis is growing by the hour. Our thought and prayers are with the people now, unfortunately, conf uh, 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 now coming down with that sub-variant of Omicron. We're far from over. And our thought and prayers are of all the viewers who have thought and pushed and gotten those big sums of money from third and fourth stimulus. Stay informed, stay focused. Join me tomorrow night as well. And stay with me all weekend long to find about that membership newsletter coming on an extra night this weekend. And stay with Ally for more.